Getting started with Remarker. Creating markers with Reaper. In this video we are going to set up. Create and export markers from Reaper to be used with Remarker. After opening a blank Reaper project file there are a few settings we need to check before creating our markers. It is important that you know what frames per second the Reaper project is set to. You will need to remember this number for later. To access this go into File Project Settings Video Frame Rate Set the value to your desired frame rate. Please note that Raya Marker do not support drop frames. When you are done press OK. The next step in setting up Reaper for use with Remarker is changing the Timeline Ruler Display. By default it is set to Bars and Beats. To change this, right-click on the Timeline Ruler and change the Time Unit to Hours, Minutes, Seconds, Frames. The time unit you set here is the time unit that will be exported. Next we recommend that you disable timeline snapping. To do this you will need to go into Options Snap Grid Enable Snapping Or by using the shortcut Alt S. Now we are almost ready to create the markers. But first we need to open the region the marker manager. You will find this window by going into View, Region Marker Manager, or by using the shortcut Ctrl, Alt, Shift, R. Please make sure the Regions box is unchecked and the Markers box is checked. Remarker do not support Regions. To import audio into Reaper you can drag and drop the file into the software or go into Insert Media File. It is important that the audio is placed at the zero mark in the timeline. Timecode offset can later be applied in Raya Marker in output modules where the software does not support adjusting the offset later. You are now ready to start adding markers to your track. To insert a marker press M on your keyboard. This will add a blank marker. If you want to give the marker a name use the shortcut Shift M. Do not use dollar signs or hashtags in any marker names. You will see the markers appear in the region Marker Manager. This is where you change attributes as queue number, name, time code and color. When you're done setting all the markers you need for the track, open the region and Marker Manager. Select all markers by pressing one of the markers and the Ctrl A. Right click on the markers and press renumber in timeline order. This makes sure all markers IDs are in the right order. Now right click on all the selected markers and press export regions and markers. Give the file the name of your track and save it in a convenient location. You can now open the file you just created with Remarker. 